Here's the straight shot, friends and fiends. If you're a fan of body horror with the likes of Cronenberg and Lynch tossing a devil of some Lovecraftian overtures, while disappearing into the valleys of desperate despair, bobbing on calm seas before riding to the top of that roller coaster again, people always ask for something new. It's inevitable. On impact, I admire and love this movie, and it's a great throwback to Hollywood back 30 years ago now. Considered to be an unofficial remake of The Rejuvenator, uh, I guess. Even the studios didn't want to pick this one up for distribution. Good on movie to make the move. It's what we need as an audience. It's called entertainment. With a sheen and sparkle that will have you dissecting this one long after the stage lights have cooled down, I'm talking about the substance from 2024 in theaters now. You can't escape from yourself. People are gonna love that. This is a non-spoiler review, and I suggest if you have any interest, check it out sooner than later. From the opening, we're thonged deep into sexualization of advertising and exploiting the young at heart. You're hired. Let's go. Watching as any star falls from grace and the decisions made to keep relevant in their own way. Have you ever dreamt of a better version of yourself? I had reminiscences of Sunset Boulevard here. You're Norma Desmond. Used to be in silent pictures, used to be big. In the sense asking myself, I am big. It's the pictures that got small. What would Norma Desmond do if tempted with this magic elixir? Demi Moore returns to the subdued role as she metamorphoses into a grim fairy tale of a story that has had this Jack captivator from frame one. After the first 10 minutes, I must have looked like a hooked mouth bass. Dennis Quaid delivers probably one of the most hilariously scenery chewing with grotesquely lovable charm performances ever. How many more adjectives can I squeeze in? I don't know, but there's plenty more. He is so off the hook and the perfect cork to pop in at the right moment every time. Margaret Qualley, who plays Sue. I'm. Sue. Sue. She 100% sold me on this character and is fantastic. She oozes every titan fantasy one would think of in this representation, while being hypnotic to watch. I was nervous at the start because I was having so much fun and waiting for the other shoe to drop. Have you ever dreamt? of a better version of yourself. It did in the most spectacular way and just going balls out wild. With this old one looking back on what a younger Jack might do, given an opportunity like Elizabeth Sparkle, let's just say you better take a deep look into that mirror and make sure you have a hold on those inner demons. Somebody, I don't care who, tell me what is going on. The truth? I can take it. Because being young again makes you hungry for more. Until next time. <laughs> I also wanted to give a shout out to our YouTube members. Thank you for the support. And hail Cthulhu.